I'm Venkat Vishwanathan, a new assistant professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University. So we're familiar with the Moore's Law in the context of semiconductors where the density of transistors doubles every two years. Uh, the analog for battery technology has been a rather disappointing one over a period of 150 years. We've sort of doubled in energy density going from the lead acid batteries of the past to today's lithium ion batteries. And we certainly cannot wait another 150 years to double the energy density of the batteries. So we would really like to accelerate the pace of innovation in the battery sector. And we're exploring one such option, the lithium air battery, which could give us two to threefold enhancement in energy density. What we are trying to do is to try and develop these batteries and make them practical. There are sort of two bottlenecks that limits their practicality. One is that we cannot recharge them well enough today. And the other one is that we cannot get all the capacity. That is, we cannot get a large amount of the energy out today. And so what we are trying to do is to understand these issues at a fundamental level. And we've made significant strides in understanding what exactly is the precise cause for these problems. Now it's simply a matter of fixing them. About a third of the world's energy consumption is in the transportation sector and it causes about a quarter of the carbon dioxide emissions in the world. And so a move from the gasoline powered vehicles that we have today towards an electric vehicle could truly alleviate the carbon dioxide problem and move our society towards a more environmentally benign society. And so what we are working on is essentially these lithium air batteries which essentially could truly disrupt the electric vehicle market and enable widespread adoption of electric vehicles by enabling driving ranges uh, of the kind that we would like, about 300 miles or so. We made significant strides in understanding what exactly are the causes of these problems in the lithium air batteries. And so our hope is that in sort of a five to 10 year time frame, we actually can develop innovative solutions that can truly fix these problems. And hopefully, you know, you will see a lithium air battery in the inside of a car maybe in five to 10 years. The one thing I think is really crucial for enabling electric vehicles to enter the market is to relieve people of the driving range anxiety. The best electric vehicles today go about 100 miles and so it's absolutely crucial that we work on more energy dense batteries and try and push this driving range to about 250 miles then you can do your cross country trips and not have to worry about your battery running out those, those uh, scary red signs.